Hi, this is Aaron, and I'm going to show how to set up the master and the slave to use U squared and um, UART and I squared C. So to use I squared C, P16, the jumper between the pin P16 and the LED must be removed. This problem delayed us for a couple weeks. And then to use the UART, you see how the pins are set this way? You need to have them set so that it's basically perpendicular to what it was. So do that for the master. And then every slave, including the master, needs this removed. I'll show you. So here are our two slaves. You can see that pin is removed there. The jumper is removed. And then here is our other slave that is also removed. So now the wires. Um, first, you since the slave or the master is going to be the only one plugged in to the USB port. I mean, to load the data, you will need to plug in each slave individually to load the program onto it. But when it's actually running, and you can see it is free running right now, the top signal is the I squared C data, and the bottom is the clock, right? Or it's maybe the opposite way around. Well, the clock looks more regular. Okay. <laughs> All right. So in order for that to happen, VCC and ground need to be common between all of them. So our yellow lines are the ground ones. So you can see we have a ground here. And then we have the same ground, same ground, and then it all connects onto this bus. We color coordinated everything, it makes it a lot easier. And then the next thing we did was um, have a bus for the VCC, which is 3.3 volts. And you can see this bus right here. All of those have um, the two orange strings going into them. And then um, the UART line is only going to be on the master. So that is uh, pins P1.1 and P1.2. That goes here. And it connects to this chip. CP2102. You can see that um, the TX line is the gray line and the RX line is the purple line. So to load this, to use this chip you need to have a driver and if you just look this up online it'll be the first thing that comes up, the chip. It's a compressed file, you just extract it. And the reason why you need this is because um, when you debug using the USB cord the UART will be interfering with this as you, as you um, program so if you separate that off, your uh, code composer will run. And then the last thing I'll talk about is the actual I squared C lines. So one of the lines is the clock, it, which is that blue line. And the blue line is connected to, again, if you know how to use an oscilloscope, oscilloscope. Um, all of them need to be connected to ground, so you can see this right here. <laughs> this is ground. Here's the voltage across that pin, and then the voltage across the other pin. And it's a little bit hairy, but... Oh, and one last thing is that you have to use external resistors at each of those data lines. So those are 10k ohm resistors that pull the pins high. So all of these um, clocks and data lines all share the same, um, are all pulled high when they're not in use. Okay? All right, that's the setup. 
Oh, we also powered the board. I'm not sure. Well, we did that just so that we could have data buses, I guess. Done.